Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a DIY on how I altered my over the knee boots to fit my skinny legs. So I ordered some boots from Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal. And when they came, they were extremely large. They were black, um, over the knee, like a faux suede boot. These are the boots on before I made any alterations. They were super baggy, um, gappy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I had anything, no socks, no leg warmers or anything underneath, but they were really, really large, really, really loose. I didn't want to return them because I really liked them. So what I did is I actually took them to a shoe repair. And when I got there, the gentleman was like, yeah, I can't make alterations to these boots. And I'm like, why? And he's like, uh, something about the material. But I thought because they were fabric material that they would be easy um, to alter. I mean, they weren't leather. Um, so I went home and I just started Googling it, got on YouTube. Um, and I found a video by a, a young lady named Rhea Maverick. And I'll put her video link below. And she had dupes for the Stuart Weissman Lowland boots. And um, and she made alterations and it seemed fairly simple and straight to the point. So I figured I could do it myself, save a lot of money. So the things that you'll need to actually do these alterations are sewing machine. You're actually gonna have to sew the boots. Um, I didn't hand stitch these. Um, the whole thing was done completely with the sewing machine. So you'll need a sewing machine. You'll need binder clips or some form of clip just to like hold the boot when you um, kind of size them to your caps. And you'll also need um, a marking pen or like a silver Sharpie or gold Sharpie, any kind of color Sharpie that will show up on whatever color boot it is that you're gonna be using just to do the markings. Um, and you'll also need some pins. I ended up using um, I ended up using a lip liner um, because my silver Sharpie actually dried out by the time I went to go um, film the video. So yeah, um, and the one thing that I would say about using a, a lip liner or a eyeliner or any kind of makeup is, which I didn't think about, when the first time I went to go wear the boots after the alterations, um, I wore them with a lighter color denim um, skinny leg jean. And the literally the lip liner, the pink lip liner had a line like down the calf of where um, I marked the boots in the inside. So if you are going to use any kind of like eyeliner, lip liner, pencil, make sure that you probably take like a damp rag or something to clean the inside of the boot. But other than that, this um, technique was really easy, really seamless. Like I am not a seamstress and I was able to get this done. So stay tuned and just watch how I did this. Really simple, really straightforward. So what you're seeing right here is where I kind of took the binder clips and measured um, like the sizing to my leg. Then I take pins and I just kind of follow where the binder clip is to mark it with the pin. Now I'm flipping the boot inside out to get to the inside of the boot. Here I'm just kind of straightening it out so it's nice and even and straight. So I took my lip liner and I'm basically just marking. So this is where you can use your Sharpie um, of any color or whatever you're gonna use to do a marking. And I'm just taking the lip liner, or this is where you would take the marker, and I'm laying um, just a mark straight down where the seam is gonna be. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the boot back right side in so that I can um, remove the pins from the boot. So again, I'm just flipping the boot back um, to the right side and I'm gonna take out the pins. And now that I've taken out all the pins, I'm gonna go ahead and flip that boot right back inside out 
and go ahead and stretch that and lay that out really flat and smooth. Now I've grabbed the second boot and I'm gonna go ahead and flip that second boot um, inside out as well. So at this point, I was just trying to straighten out the second boot um, to match the first boot that I did. So I was just kind of like lining them up so that they would match. So I had them on top of each other and I was just kind of lining up the seams to make sure they matched. So now I took the um, first boot that I had the markings done on. Um, I put that on top of the second boot and then I'm just gonna go ahead, reline them up and then um, put the pins in so that I can mark up the second boot. So now that I have the pins in the second boot, I went ahead and moved that back on top. And now I take, I'm taking my lip liner and I'm going ahead and following those pins. Again, if you're using a Sharpie, go ahead and take your Sharpie and go ahead and follow those pins and draw a line um, straight down across, just tracing where you have the pins. Now we're moving over to the sewing machine and basically I'm just going to do a straight stitch and I'm just going to go ahead and sew straight down following the marking that I have in the inside of the boot and I'm going to do this to each boot. Then I went ahead and tried on the boots when I was done sewing. Um, they fit really good, They're nice and tight and firm, not too tight. I didn't have on leg warmers, but I did have over the knee socks um, on and they fit nice and snug, much better than they were before. Love it. So I'll show you guys the actual boot. Um, it's super cute. So here's the boots. They are black suede and they were just really, really, really huge. Um, on me so very seamless love them now my new favorite boot so you can do it girl you can do it <laughs> so again thanks guys for watching um if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'll feel free to answer any questions that you may have and share this video. Please share this video. There's so many skinny girls out there that need this information. I mean, skinny girls, we want to wear over the knee boots too. Okay, so please share. Sharing is caring. Thanks, you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.